Hello YouTubers, um, what we are going to do tonight is just a quick little video on rhinestone designs. Um, so rhinestone designs you need to convert something into a bunch of circles. And to be brutally honest, it's pretty tedious um, depending on the design and, and what you want to do. It can get really tedious in order to get your little circles all looking like the design you need it to look like. Um, so I wanted to show you this little quick trick um, in Silhouette Studio. It's one of the easiest ways I've seen to make actual rhinestone templates relatively painless. There is, this is the tip of a very, very big iceberg. If you want, um, and this is just meant to be a quick tutorial, um, just to show you that this is here. Um, this is by no means inclusive or detailed or any of those things. There's so much more out there, but I did want to show you all of this. Um, so these are single line sketch files. They're meant for drawing, um, drawing or the foil quill. So they actually look like real writing and not, this is um, Arial. See, it, it does the outline thing. So, um, and these are available. The Silhouette Studio Store, the Silhouette Design Store has them. Um, this is Pinsetter, which is on font bundles. This is one from Silhouette Studio. This is mine, um, or this is from the Silhouette Design Store. And if you open up the rhinestone panel, now to get to the rhinestone panel, it's it's down here. You will need one of the paid upgrades, either Designer Edition, um, Designer Edition Plus, or Business Edition. Um, one of those will get you this panel. Um, and basically, all you have to do is click, and we are going to make SS10, which is the um, middle of the road size. You can make them bigger, or smaller, and down here you can make a custom size. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do um, edge and it's going to put in our little circles. Now they're not perfect. Um, no program is. We're going to release path. And now that gets me 8 million little circles I can play with. And because these are single line, that's what makes them easier to deal with. Um, and then you're going to have to come back in here and either manually move manually move either rhinestones that don't line up or rhinestones that are too close or rhinestones that don't look like don't look like they're in the correct spot you'll just have to manually move them but without too much trouble and screaming at the computer you have a rhinestone design now do make sure they're not too close if they get too close even if they're not touching even if they're too close, you can end up with the material tearing, and so you end up with a problem. But there you go. Now, um, if you want to move these around, highly recommend right clicking and grouping so that it's one thing. Um, Silhouette struggles when it's trying to move around like 3,000 rhinestones, the program will lag. Um, and based on your computer and your computer's processing speeds, the more rhinestones you have floating around that you're trying to select and move around, the computer can lag because it's a lot for a program to deal with. So keep that in mind if you have like the slowest computer on the planet, pack some patience and save your work often because it can cause the program to crash. Um, and this works for any of them. And then you can make them bigger too um, and just move them around like you need to. Um, also keep in mind that small and rhinestone don't work very well together. Um, it needs to be bigger. Bigger is going to work better. Also a lot of weird little things. It may not actually look that good when it's rhinestoned. Um, I, I cheated. I knew this would work out well. <laughs> um, but, um, not all of them will. Dita, um, Simple kind of designs are going to do better for this than like ones that have a lot of just squished in detail. It's just, it's hard to get all that detail translated into rhinestones. The best way to think of rhinestones is kind of like old school video games and pixels. Um, there's just not a lot of chance to put a lot of detail in there. It just doesn't work. So from there, you could totally send this and be done and make your template. Um, if you have a Cricut, um, you can, you're going to have to cheat a little bit and I'll show you how to make this. Um, 
So if I upload this to Cricut right now, what Cricut is gonna do is it's gonna yell at me and then it's gonna upload every individual circle and then it's just gonna become a nightmare. So what you can do is draw a circle or draw a rectangle around your design. And let's fill this in with a color. We'll go red. Well, actually, let's go a different color so we can see. And let's right click and flip to the back of the layer. And that's my little circles. So let's select everything. Do you have everything selected? All right. Select everything and we're going to come to the transform panel. No, we're not. We're going to come to the transform modify panel. And we're going to hit subtract all. Now this is going to take a minute because we're subtracting quite a lot of stuff and the computer's not going to appreciate it. So you do need to pack some patience with this just because it's a lot for the computer to deal with. And I have my box now. And so now when I go and upload this into Silhouette Studio, actually, let me show you this real quick. When I go and upload this into Silhouette Studio or into Design Space, into Design Space, it's one object instead of 8 million little circles. Now, Design Space is a special little program. And what it's going to do, if it's if you're es exporting an SVG from Silhouette, it is going to come in very, very little. If it is one of my designs that has been exported from Corel Draw, it is going to come in huge. I don't know why. Design space is design space. So what you're going to need to do is come back to Silhouette. And so this is 6.455 um, inches long. So we're going to go back over here to design space and 6.455 inches. And then we are 4.637 tall. 4.637 tall. Now it's correctly sized for your rhinestones and you should be able to cut that. So I have more tutorials on the webpage for making uh, rhinestone templates and silhouette and in Cricut. This is basically um, just a good um, way, especially if you had an already existing design and you wanted to write something else, or you just wanted to write a quick design on like a shirt. Um, there are far more tools in here and you can have fun filling stuff in and messing with stuff. And if you just want to occasionally rhinestone stuff, Silhouette is a great program for it. Um, this works um, and you can save, if you have business edition, you can save as an SVG and export it to any other cutting machine file um, that takes SVGs. So, um, no, this is not everything there is to know about rhinestones, but it is a way to write like your last name if you wanted it on a shirt. Also, one other thing real quick, um, the rhinestone world has their own rhinestone fonts. This is one of them. I don't know what it is. Um, you can go to their page and um, learn more about these. You have to go find out what size they need to be in order to get them to cut right. But they have a bunch of fonts um, and you can, it's another way to just type something out and make a personalized rhinestone design that's not a massive pain in the butt to make. Um, also, if you want to learn how to make rhinestone designs and rhinestone the world, they are there and they will help you um, because it's a bit tedious. And, and regardless of what somebody might say, it's tedious. Um, there, there are little tricks to make it a little bit easier, but it gets a bit tedious with the circles. So, this is at least an easy way so you can make a design that you want to. So, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I will be back with another tutorial soon. Thank you for watching.